take a picture with me. I'm not Craig, but... <laughs> You're gonna be pissed off in the morning. I did hear a couple of people say, Damn, I thought Craig was bigger than that. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, growing up with Craig, uh, when we were kids, we often, often uh, competed and we often had battles. When we were younger, it started in a womb. Uh, uh, started in a womb. When, uh, when we came out, as you can tell, Fred ate all the fucking food. <laughs> Something to fucking do. Just something. Just something. Let's see. But ever since then, we've been competing. We've been competing, and the athlete before you today is not the athlete that he was when he was little. When he was little, uh, it took a lot of effort and a lot of competing with me to actually make him somewhat fucking athletic. <laughs> uh, when we were little. We often had crawls, and uh, his big ass head would keep me from keeping up with everybody. So I would have to stop crawling and wait for him. And then we'd catch up, and then we we top. I let him top. Hey, look how sad he looked in that picture, though. It's because I just kicked his ass again. <laughs> Actually, that's because I had to sit next to your big head ass and I don't want you to fall away. <laughs> so when we were little, uh, we, we were often compete with each other. Uh, there, I can remember one time we were playing, it was recess, and we had a race. And the race was from one end of the football field to the next, and there was a, a soccer goal that we used for the uh, finish line. So we were running, and me and Fred, we naturally we were competing, and Fred knew he had to win. So what he do? He at the end he jumped as hard as he could. And I'm looking at him like this shit's not going to end fucking well. <laughs> so he he reaches and he grabs the soccer the soccer goal, and he grabs it, he hangs on, and all of a sudden momentum kicked in down the ass, flips twice, hands on his fucking neck, looks at me like. What just happened? <laughs> fucking idiot. That's what happened. <laughs> it's not worth it trying to fucking beat me all the time. <laughs> uh, he's getting his phone, so I don't know what this is about. <laughs> uh, another time where we had a competition when we were a kid that didn't end so well for Fred was uh, we were playing football in our yard. Well, actually in the street. And we didn't have a big street to begin with. So, uh, I was guarding Fred naturally, trying to make him some kind of fucking athlete. And, uh, uh, the quarterback sends him on a go route, and we're running, and I'm, I'm looking at the ball, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, that's going out of bounds, so fuck that. <laughs> uh, not Fred. Fred was like, I'm catching this <laughs> So, I stop, and I just watch the magic. On hold. And I'm just like, three, two, one, bang! He slams into a speed limit 25 sign. <laughs> he wraps completely around it, then he wraps completely around himself. Once again, he falls over and looks at me, I'm like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and everything. This is the consequence you suffer when you do that. So. Uh, that natural competitiveness and uh, pushing to be better than each other obviously got us to Cole College. Once at Cole College, I realized how fucking spoiled he really was. Uh, there's this thing called Freddy treatment. Now, Freddy treatment, if you don't understand what it is, is being treated like fucking royalty. Here's an example. So there's this thing called, uh, what was it, best looking male on campus. Show what your ass. You <laughs> <laughs> right? right? But it wouldn't be your ugly ass either. <laughs> uh, so 
naturally I was like, mm, no, Fred gonna get that. Everybody swinging from his nest. This is just how things are. <laughs> so Fred being the modest, we know, no, no, it's never gonna happen. Thirty days later, it comes out. Guess who was number one? This one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't even get top five. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't get top two. I just have one thing to say. You didn't get one vote and your wife went to the school. <laughs> she don't get involved in childhood things like that. At least that's what she told me. But if she would have voted, she would have voted for me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Don't worry, don't worry. It's already been pointed out. Your wife think I'm better looking than you. This I cannot deny. She did tell me that. Oh, uh, another prime example of Freddie treatment. So uh, I go to the training room. I break my fucking finger, and I know it's broke because it's standing this fucking. And I'm talking to the head trainer, I'm like, hey, John, man, I think I broke my finger, man. This shit's not right. I can't fucking move it and it's uh, pointing sideways. He's like, oh, it's all right. It's, just put a little wrap on it and tape it up. You'll be all right. Excuse me on my way. Ray comes in with a fucking hay nail. <laughs> fucking two trainers over here doing fucking seances and shit. And another trainer over here doing fucking animal sacrifices trying to break the neck of fucking thing. <laughs> Oh, but don't get it twisted, Buffalo. I blame you all the moles. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Who the fuck can go to the Buffalo airport and skip fucking security? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? I thought we were at a level orange. <laughs> Thing 
of how my brother proved he was old beyond fucking belief. He called me in the middle of the day during off season, three o'clock in the afternoon. Hey, bro, what you doing? Three o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday break. I'm fucking working. <laughs> Biggest dick. <laughs> 